Hi guys, we're here at the new M2G Galaxy Merlin robot milking cows. I thought I'd explain this video about switching out a robot, why we did it, and what's happening. Um, so this spring uh, we decided to switch to Galaxy's new model. We've been milking with Galaxy robots, the Estrella model, since 2016. We were really happy with them. We liked the performance. And then Galaxy switched to a new model. So we decided to put the new model in here on our single box. And so we could see how it works and learn how to use it. Um, we've been happy with it so far, a couple months in. But I thought I'd explain this video, just walk you through it. Uh, some of the stuff we did in the process of uh, moving to this. The first step of the process, we uh, unbolted the old robot so we could get it out, unhook the lines, then we uh, put the robot up on pipe so we could roll it out of the robot room and take that one out. Then there was a lot of cement work. Uh, the footprint of the Merlin was bigger than the Estrella model. The cow actually stands outside the robot room. We had to do a lot of breaking cement up, uh, cutting cement. We had to uh, take down part of the wall so we could set the new box basically right where we're cutting this wall. And that was quite a process. The wall obviously was down a couple feet underground. Um, so we cut it three ways and then we pulled it out with the loader. Then the robot was out. We pulled all the lines and then it was to a bunch of jackhammering and getting the cement out, the old cement out, which probably ended up being the biggest job of the whole project. The cement was pretty thick. Getting all that old cement out of there um, turned out to be a pretty big job. Uh, we used a hand-held jack camera for a lot of it, but it ended up being so thick under the where the central unit was then we got in this uh, loader with a telescoping uh, bucket on it and a jack camera, and we got a lot of the rest of it with that. Then we brought in the mini backhoe and we could dig out most of the old wall and the old cement the stuff we needed to get out of there so we could get to our drains and get to where we could run conduit. I didn't get any video of pouring the floor. Here the floor is poured already and they're framing up the walls um, for the pit. And then we hauled all the cement in, um, in the loader. There was no way to get the trucks back to the robot room. So we hauled it in bucket by bucket and there wasn't a lot. It, was pretty easy to do. Took a few few buckets full. And then we had a steel chute that we propped up on the gate and we just ran the cement right down into our pit there.
here is when the cement work was pretty much finished getting the drains in and we thought we were done but we ended up having a wall in the wrong place our outside wall so back to the jackhammer we had to knock that wall out cut our floor out a little more and move the wall out another eight inches um, to get our milk box to sit where it was supposed to and since we did that we decided to pour cement steps um, for our pit too we were thinking of going with steel but there's the finished cement steps and now we're ready for the robot the team from Galaxy came and pulled the robot with them uh, I didn't get any video of setting it in place except for moving the processing cabinet into place here And once everything was in place, uh, that was uh, bolted down. Now the robot's in position. Um, everything's ready to be hooked up. Pulling communication wires, hooking up everything that needs hooked up so we can milk cows. We're ready to turn on the robot. We got power. The next step, now that we have power on the robot, the arm calibration, making sure the processor knows exactly where the arm is. Then we decided to uh, tile our floor, so we had someone come in and lay tile on the whole floor. It ended up working out really well. We're really happy with how it turned out. The robot, the new robot, Galaxy is calling their MTG, so we had some fun with it. Put M2G on the floor, laid it in the tile. Also put a G for Galaxy up by the processing cabinet. Now, robot's all done. We're ready to put on collars and try milking in it for the first time. First cow coming around and entering the 2G Merlin. We're excited. We got cow number 2599 in for the very first time. She's in there eating some pellets. So in order to get her set up, we're going to move the arm out. go under there and try to locate her teats. So, just 
just gonna try to let her settle down before I touch anything. If you try to go too fast and they start jumping around, it just makes everything harder. Maybe move it away from her front legs a little bit here. And hopefully focus her back in on eating again. Slow is better, just take your time. We're gonna come back and we're gonna come up. And, yeah, so that's what we don't want her to do. We wanna to try to keep her standing still. She was a little jumpy, but eventually she settled down. Um, the robot got her on. She settled down and started eating her pellet. And then she ended up milking about 40 pounds in that first milking.